In this video, we will learn how to set up input power and motor's nameplate information on IS-7 and how to test acceleration and deceleration briefly. Power environment, control method, and motor parameter settings are required to operate the motor smoothly with the drive. The parameter related to the operation command setting can be changed from DRV6, and now we will set the keypad to operate. If you want to set it as a terminal or communication, not as a keypad, you can select it by referring to the table. Parameters related to frequency setting can be changed at DRV7. And now we will try to set the frequency by the keypad. To set the frequency with analog input voltage or current, not the keypad, you can set it to V1 or I1. You can set the input power frequency and input power voltage according to your input power environment in BAS 10 and 19. Parameters related to the motor are set based on the information displayed on the motor nameplate. If you look at the motor nameplate, you will find information such as motor capacity, rated voltage, rated current, and motor efficiency. Enter parameters needs based on the nameplate information. Set the motor capacity at DRV14. and enter the number of pole, slip, rated current, rated voltage from BAS 11 to 15, one after the other. If you change the order and set the motor capacity at a later time, the parameters BAS 11 to 15 will be initialized, so be careful. Enter the rated voltage at BAS 15, and if you do not enter the rated voltage of the motor, it will follow the input voltage. In BAS 12, the rated slip of the motor is the difference between the sink speed and the rated speed. When the field magnet of the induction motor produces a rotating magnetic field, the rotor rotates along the rotating magnetic field. At this point, the rotor is rotated at a lower speed than the rotating magnetic field due to the resistance of the load. The difference in speed is called slip. The nameplate does not show slip, so you must calculate the difference and enter it. The rated slip can be obtained by calculating the synchronous speed minus the rated speed, which means that the slip of the motor is 1800 RPM minus 1710 RPM, that is 90 RPM. Finally, you can set the BAS-14 no-load current at about one-third of the normal rated current. The acceleration and deceleration time setting is defined as the time to reach the maximum frequency set by drive and can be changed at DRV3 and 4. Next, let's set the motor speed and the acceleration and deceleration time. You can set the target frequency at DRV1 and now we will set it to 60 Hz. Let's set the acceleration time to 10 seconds at DRV3 and the deceleration time to 10 seconds 
at DRV4. Then, the time for the motor to reach the maximum frequency of 60 Hz will be 10 seconds. Inverter trip may occur if the acceleration and deceleration time are set too short. If the acceleration time is too short, overcurrent trip may occur because drives can't overcome the load of the motor. And if the deceleration time is too short, the overvoltage trip may occur due to the large regenerative energy. To avoid these, the acceleration and deceleration time should be set to the appropriate values for the load. So far, the basic parameter settings are complete, and we're going to run the motor. Looking at trend waveforms, keypads, and motors, you can see that it takes 10 seconds to accelerate to 60 Hz. and 10 seconds to decelerate from 60 Hz to 0 Hz. You have learned how to set the default values of motor and drive, and acceleration and deceleration settings on IS-7.